All right, so as you can see, got the bass boat here, but I want to do a little catfish drifting. And I really don't have a good way to set up some rod holders on the side of the boat. So I'm going to rig, rig up some kind of custom rod holders for this. I've seen some stuff online. Somebody named Drift on Catfish One set up a idea to use PVC to make these rod holders. I'm going to try to make some rod holders and show you what those look like. They're going to figure out how to mount to this boat somehow on the side there to set this up to go do some catfish drifting so I can do this and uh, just temporarily have it for use when I'm catfish and then I can take them off when I'm bass fishing. So anyway, that's the plan. So that's what we're going to show you what we're going to do. So here's what, what I'm going to do. I've seen these guys do it. Everybody else has used four inch PVC, but I had this six inch schedule 40 PVC pipe that I bought for something else a year ago. And then I don't know what happened. My wife didn't finish the project. or didn't want to, I don't know. Anyway, but anyway, it's a wife thing. But anyway, so I decided I'm going to repurpose this and make these rod holders out of that. So, so basically the idea is out of this round pipe, I'm going to cut this into about four inch wide sections here. Okay. And then if you kind of think about it, what's going to happen, I'm going to cut out the pipe here. So it's kind of left with a big C, right? We're going to put a hole right down here. And then we're going to cut out like a U out of the top of that C where it ends. So the rod can fit right in that spot. And then this is going to mount to a board. I'm going to put a screw through here to mount to the board that's going to mount to. That's kind of the concept here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut like six of these puppies and uh, go from there. Okay, I set up a stop here for four inches roughly. Doesn't have to be exactly four inches, just kind of roughly is what I'm doing anyway. It could be smaller maybe, but I'm going to rely on the thickness of the PVC here. I'm going to use my compound sliding miter saw to cut this. You can use a hacksaw, whatever you got. And this is not going to cut all the way through, so I'm going to have to kind of cut, rotate, cut, cut, get these things cut. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's what we got going on. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm thinking. I'm going to cut this off and this off so this piece goes out. I'm going to drill a circle right here for the butt of the rod to go through. This spot's going to come up to here, but it's going to cut straight across. But instead of just being a circle here, it's going to come down like a U-shape for the rod to sit in there. And this is where the screw will go in. And i actually seen somewhere they cut a slot right here so you can rotate it to change your rod angle. So I might do that too. This is pretty thick since it's a six-inch piece, but that ought to just be able to hold the rod just like that while we're out there. So that's the game plan. I'm just going to use my table saw and kind of just freely, freely push that through without a guide on this line. We're just going to cut that off. Again, there's my hole. Thing's going to mount like this. And after I cut this off, i got a line. I'm going to cut that off and I'll pull this chunk out. So there you go, I'm just going to clean this up on the sand when I'm done, but now I'm going to drill a hole. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and just cut this out, and this will be the U slot that this fits in. But after doing this, um, just FYI, this is the first one I'm cutting. And I think what I'm going to do after this is drill my holes before I cut this out. Because it will just keep it from compressing when I'm pushing in there. But um, this will cut out here on a mount like that. Rod's going to go in there. So let's go test this on the rod real quick, just see if we're fit real quick. And see what kind of improvising we got to do after this. So that's basically what we're looking at here. I think that's a good enough angle for mounting it. Um, on the next one, I think I'm going to bring the hole a little bit higher, though, I think. These probably won't, won't all be the same, but they'll be good enough. So I think we have enough to know what we got to do from this point forward. And let's see, that should that hole? Yeah, that hole's a good, good size. Okay, so here's the finished product. Probably do one more thing to it, but um, basically what I did is I took a 2x4 and just mounted it with clamps right on inside the bass tracker here. Kind of see what I'm doing there. And then I've got one down here in the back end too. And just kind of got these ang things angled a little bit. Just put one screw in there. I know these things might twist on me. The one thing I saw somebody else do that basically help, helped with the pole twist in here, cause you can see the poles turning over here, right? 
is uh, it took some foam or rubber gasket or something and just kind of outlined this with it so when the handle sits in there, it'll keep it from slipping so much. So as far as spinning on you. So probably do that, but I'm gonna give these a try today and see how well they work, see how well they hold up against some catfish. So that's the plan. The four inch clamps seem to work the best here if you want this removable, but I just want to pop this on and off because I don't always catfish. So that's the game plan. That's what they look like. So I think they're going to work. So we're going to try them out and let you know. All right, there you go. The rod holders are working up, working out pretty good. Up front there. So we're going to see if uh, we get some catfish action today. So far, they seem to be working out pretty good as far as holding these rods in place as we drift. Okay, so these things work really great today. And you can see this is just a two by four, which comes up to the rail here. The clamps, you need at least um, a, a three inch clamp. I use four inch clamps on this guy. But on the back side here, on this bass tracker, you don't have the depth back here. You can kind of look over there, the difference in the depth along that edge right there versus the front edge. You can see it's a lot bigger. So the two by four fits good up front here, but in order to get the clamps on where they clamp onto this piece of the rail right here, you're gonna need to cut a notch out of the wood. And I did that in the front and in the back on this guy. And uh, that held this wood really solid in there because you get the clamps low enough in here. Cut it really good and solid. Of course, this is sitting backwards, by the way. It's supposed to sit like this, but... Uh. This is how I fished with it this morning. Two clamps come off, the scent can be taken off. And I was even thinking uh, for the bass tracker now that if I change the position of this hole or we did a slot and made it, you know, tighten it down or something like that, if I want to do something like that, that if I change the hole, I could tilt this forward and then I can have the roll, the rods coming out horizontal for a crappie fishing too. Something I thought about. Just wanted to show you how we notch that out to get that to fit better in the bass tracker. These are the rod holders I put together last week. And what I've done is I've Put some of this uh, rubber half inch pipe insulator in, onto it here and the idea is that this might hold the pole a little better and keep it from sliding around so i got this uh six foot piece of half inch rubber uh half inch pipe insulator with the sticky stuff on it and basically uh you could have got some polyethylene for like a buck or something it's like five and change for the rubber i thought it might hold up better so i'm just cutting it into strips like this and uh mounting it on these V's here and um, see how that works. All right, so that rubber uh, pipe insulation I put on there is helping, the rods aren't rolling over. So you can kind of see that looks pretty good there. So anyway, just wanna show you that update. That seems to do that trick.